everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Yummy Brown of Yummy Kershology and today's tutorial is the Margot bandana top. Triangle top these days is very trendy so we're gonna recreate a crochet version of that that you can wear as a headscarf or a top. This is made with starburst stitches so if you want to learn the starburst stitches keep watching till the end. So if you like my content that talks about crochet and styling our crochet pieces, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. So let's get started. So we need a tape measure, a scissors, a stitch markers and of course your yarn. It is a cotton yarn and this is from Hobby and this is the information. This is 200 gram or 800 meter but we will not be able to consume all of that and this is fine or category 2 yarn. And I have here three hooks, 325 millimeter and 2.75 millimeter. Both of these hooks is 2.75 millimeter and that's the working hook. So grab your 2.25 millimeter hook and your yarn and make a slip knot however or whatever you're comfortable in making one. And then we will make a chain of 110 and that is for size small or 29 inches long. So continue doing that until you have your foundation chain that fits your upper bust. So I have here my 110. And I will change into a smaller size hook, which is 2.75 millimeter hook, and that is your working hook. So skip two stitches, and in the third chain, you have to make a half double crochet. So from there, you will half double crochet until the end. So I have here my last few stitches. So it is just basically a half double crochet to strengthen our foundation. This time a chain of two and then turn your work. And again, in each stitches, you have to do another half double crochet. So that's one, two, three, four, and five so continue your half double crochet until you reach at the end of your row so you have to make five rows of half double crochet so i'm at the end of my five rows of half double crochet i'll just finish it off with few stitches to close the row okay so we have five rows of half double crochet to strengthen our bandana top or upper part. So after your five rows of half double crochet, we will start our pattern, which is the starburst stitch. So how to do the starburst? First is make a chain one and single crochet and a stitch after that. Skip three stitches, one, two, and three, and then on the fourth you will you will insert your hook there and make a nine triple crochet. So yarn over twice. Yarn over and pull it through, yarn over and pull it through, yarn over and pull it through, yarn over and pull it through till the end. Again, yarn over twice, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over and pull it through, yarn over and pull it through, yarn over and pull it through till the end. So that's two triple crochets and we need nine. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So nine triple crochets. So again, skip three stitches and then on the fourth stitch, you have to make a single crochet. So there you go. We have the first fan. We'll repeat the pattern until we reach at the end. Okay, so single crochet and nine triple crochet. So I'm at the end of my row for the fan. So I have to skip again another three stitches and make nine triple crochet and a stitch after that. So 
yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over and pull it through till the end. So nine triple crochet and then skip two stitches and make a single crochet at the end of the row. So your first row of the starburst should look like this. So let's proceed to the second row. Chain of four. Turn your work. So this time we will use triple crochet together. Okay, so wrap your yarn twice into your hook. Use this stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, and stop. Again, yarn over twice into your hook and insert it into the next stitch, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, and stop. Again, yarn over twice, insert it in the next stitch. This is the third triple crochet. Pull it through and stop. Again, yarn over twice into your hook and insert it into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through and stop. So you should have four triple crochets and one four chains. Yarn over and pull it through till the end. So that's your triple crochet together and then chain three, one, two, and three. And then in the middle of your fan from the previous round, the top one, make a single crochet. Insert your hook and make a single crochet. Should have something like this. And chain three again. And this time we will use this two fans half of this fan and half of this fan all triple crochet together so wrap your yarn twice into your hook insert it into the stitch after where you single crochet yarn over pull it through yarn over pull it through and stop again yarn over twice into your hook insert it into the next stitch yarn over and pull it through yarn over and pull it through and stop Yarn over twice again into your hook and insert it into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull it through, yarn over and pull it through, yarn over and pull it through and stop. Yarn over twice into your hook again and insert your hook into the middle of the two fans. And make a triple crochet together. Okay, so you should have four triple crochet and one in the middle we will do that the same in the side so yarn over twice into your hook and insert it into the stitch first stitch of the second fan yarn over and pull it through yarn over and pull it through and stop so again yarn over twice into your hook and insert it into the next stitch Yarn over and pull it through, yarn over and pull it through, yarn over and pull it through. Again, yarn over twice into your hook and insert it into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through and stop. Yarn over twice again into your hook, insert it into the next stitch. And for the last one, yarn over twice and insert it into the next stitch. So this is what it looks like right now. There's nine all in all, four in the side and four in the side and one in the middle. And wrap your yarn and pull it through till the end and make a chain. One. Okay, so nine triple crochets together, four in this side, one in the middle and four in this other fence side. A chain of three and single crochet into the topmost of your fan from the previous round. So it should look like this. This row should look like this. It looks like an upside down fan. The row two of your starburst stitch looks like an upside down fan. And you have to repeat this fan 
all the way to the end the single crochet chain three and nine triple crochet together and chain three again and single crochet will be repeated until you reach the end so I'm at the end of this row now so pull it through till the end so that's what it looks like nine triple crochet together using two fans from the previous round and then chain of three two and three and single crochet at the top of your fan then again in this part we will be ending with five triple crochet together so chain three and we will use the stitches for the five triple crochet together so that's one wrap your yarn twice into your hook insert it into the next stitch and that's your two triple crochet again wrap your yarn twice into your hook insert it into the next stitch wrap your yarn pull it through wrap your yarn pull it through and stop you should have three triple crochet right now excluding the chain three and then again wrap your yarn twice into your hook and insert it in the next stitch and make a triple crochet together there's four and then the last one put your last triple crochet on the top of the chain from the previous round that's to keep our work a little bit straight and pull it through till the end then chain of three one and two and three and turn your work so we're starting the third row of the starburst stitch so this time we will make a triple crochet five times yarn over twice into your hook and insert it into this stitch and make a triple crochet so this one is not together but triple crochet So that's two triple crochet, three, four, and five. Okay, so we're starting a five triple crochet at the top of the five triple crochet together. And then in this stitch here, the single crochet from the previous round, you have to make a single crochet. In this stitch here, the top of your triple crochet together, you have to make nine triple crochet. And you will insert your hook in this stitch here and you have to make nine triple crochet. So that's one, two, three, four five six seven eight and nine Okay, and then single crochet in the top of the single crochet from the previous round. Okay, so on the top of this fan. So if you've noticed, we already complete one of the starbursts. So you have to repeat this pattern, the nine triple crochet, into this nine triple crochet together from the previous round. And the top of the nine triple crochet together of the previous round. So I'm here at the end of this row now and then we have to make another 9 triple crochet at the top of the 9 triple crochet together from the previous round. Okay, so there's your nine triple crochet to complete this starburst and then single crochet at the top of the single crochet from the previous round. So this time we will also end a triple crochet, five triple crochet, just like what we started in this row. So yarn over twice into your hook at 
and insert it at the top of the five triple crochet together from the previous round and make five triple crochet on the top of that. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we completed the third row of the starburst. So if you've noticed, this looks like a circle, okay? So that's the starburst there. So we complete the starburst. So this is the row two, the upside down fan or the nine triple crochet together. And this is the nine triple crochet is the row three. Basically the only row that you have to keep repeating. The row two, which is the upside down fan and the row three, which is the fan or the nine triple crochets. So you have to make as many rows as needed to cover your bust area okay so in my case i probably need uh, six rows of starburst so i have here my finished rows of starburst so that's one two and three three sets of starburst stitches so this is our first row of the starburst which is a nine triple crochets it, it looks like a half circle and this row two and row three row four and row five row six and seven so all in all we have eight rows of starburst stitches but that's for size small if you are busty or you're in um, bigger size you have to add more rows to cover your bust area before we will decrease and in this part we will skip these two fans in the beginning and put the stitch marker after that and skip the last two fan so the five triple crochets and the nine triple crochets is skip okay so that's how we will decrease we will skip the first fan of every row and the last fan of every rows then put your stitch markers and this is where we will start. So now turn your work and we will start to decrease. So we will slip stitch from here all the way here. So that's how we will form our triangle. We will slip stitch the first fan of every row and skip the last fan of every row. So just slip stitch until you reach into your stitch marker. So now we reach in our stitch marker, so we will chain three, one, two, and three. And this time we will make the starburst stitches. So this is where we will start the starburst. So yarn over twice in the ear hook and insert it into that stitch after your chain and make a triple crochet. So again, yarn over twice, insert your hook, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, and stop. Again. Yarn over twice and insert your hook and pull it through and stop. So we're making five triple crochet together. We repeat the row two of our pattern in this part. So I have here my five triple crochet together. So pull it through till the end and chain one, two and three. And in the stitch after your last triple crochet, you have to single crochet in there. Okay, so you will see later that we gradually slew down in this area. And now we will chain three again, one, two, and three. And in this two fan, we will make nine triple crochet together. We are just repeating the row two of the pattern starburst. So yarn over twice into your hook and insert your hook into the stitch after your single crochet and make nine triple crochet together between the two fans.
this is my ninth triple crochet and yarn over and pull it through till the end and chain off one to close that fan okay so there's your nine triple crochet together and you have to repeat that every fan and until you reach into your second stitch marker and do not include these two fans so i'm here at the end of the row and i'm finishing a nine triple crochet together pull it through till the end chain three and single crochet in the top of the fan from the previous round and basically we are here in the stitch marker now so we have to make the five triple crochet together just like how we started the row so chain three and make five triple crochet together so this is two three four and five so the five one should be in the top of your stitch marker or where your stitch marker is okay and then yarn over and pull it through till the end chain one so that is the first row of our decrease and then we will start the second row again we're decreasing so we will decrease using a slip stitch into the first fan so whatever is your first fan of that row you have to slip stitch into that and skip okay and start into the next fan so since we're on the top of the nine triple crochets together in this row so we also have to start our row with nine triple crochet so this is the third triple crochet fourth five six seven eight nine and there you go that's your nine triple crochet in the top of the nine triple crochet together from previous round and then single crochet into the single crochet from the previous round okay so you will just have to repeat that nine triple crochet until you reach at the end so as you've noticed here we are already um, seeing a nice loop into the pattern because we skipped the first fan of the, the pat of the row and also we we will not include the last fan of every row so this fan here you will not include that instead you will stop here okay you will not include this five triple crochet instead you will stop here in the top of the of the nine triple crochet so as you've noticed here i have a nice loop down the side of my triangle because i skipped the first fan and didn't include the last fan of every row so you just have to remember to skip the first fan and do not include the last fan of your row and follow the pattern so if you started with a tri nine triple crochet together so you'll have to start in that row with a nine triple crochet until you don't have a fan left okay so you will run out of fan as you decrease so that's how you know that you already have the triangle top you just have to repeat the row two and the row three that's pretty much the rows that you have to remember the pattern of row two and row three keep repeating that until the end so i have here the last few fans of my top so i have here five triple crochet together nine triple crochet together and a five triple crochet together so again I will skip this five triple crochet together and make a slip stitch into the chain slip stitch three times since it's three chain make a slip stitch so again it's making that nice um, slope down in the side and I will put nine triple crochet in the top of the nine triple crochet together from the previous round so wrap your yarn twice into your hook and insert it in the top of the fan and make a triple crochet nine times that's one that's two three 
three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. and nine okay and then that's your last fan and single crochet in the top of the single crochet this one here this stitch and we will not include the last five triple crochet or we will skip that okay so this is what our triangle top looks like now it is really forming a nice triangle shape and now we're going to work on the top of the triangle so insert your hook here in the side attach your yarn and tie it and secure and pull it through and chain one and then you will single crochet in each stitches until you reach at the end so that's one and two three four so continue your single crochet until you reach at the end of your row. So we're here at the end of our rows now and we will just finish off with a few stitches left. Okay, a chain of two, one, two and turn. And in the next three stitches you have to double crochet. One, two, three so there you go your three double crochets and then chain of two and skip two stitches and then on the third stitch you have to double crochet and then in the next three stitches you have to double crochet again so that's one two and three so you have four double crochets all in all. So you have to repeat the pattern of chain two, skip two, and four double crochets until you reach at the end of your bandana. So we're here at the end of our bandana. I'll just have to chain two, skip two, and whatever is the leftover stitches, I'll just have to double crochet in them. So that's second double crochet, third, and then there's one last stitch, and that is my final double crochet for this row. So again, chain of two and turn your work. So this is the second row of our double crochet chain two pattern. And then again, you have to double crochet at the top of the double crochets that you did in the previous round. So that's two and three, okay? And then chain of two, skip the chain two from previous round and double crochet in the top of the double crochets from the previous round. So basically saying the pattern is just copying the previous round's pattern. Okay, so this is four double crochets in the top of the four double crochets. So continue the pattern of two chains and four double crochets until you reach at the end and you have to make until you have four rows of two chains and four double crochets. So I'm at the end of the rows now. I am at my fourth rows of this pattern and we'll just finish it off with double crochets at the top of our double crochets. And then proceed to our next row, chain one, and then in the next stitch you have to half double crochet. So half double crochet in every stitches. And then in the chain two, you have to half double crochet twice. Okay, so continue the pattern of half double crochet in every stitches until you reach at the end of your row. So we're here at the end of this um, row, the half double crochet, and we will finish it off with a half double crochet, the top of the um, double crochet. And this is what our triangle looks like right now. It's very cute, actually. I'm loving it. And then we will make the straps in the side. So 
how to make the straps in the side is we will work into from where our hook is to the last row before we, the starburst started so we will not include the starburst okay so put a stitch marker there and so chain one and make a half double crochet in every stitches till you reach into your stitch marker So we reach at the end where our stitch marker is and that's pretty much the width of our straps for the back, okay? So you have to do the same in the other side and then that's what the beginning row of our straps, so chain 2, turn your work and in every stitches across you have to make a double crochet. So that's one double crochet, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and 15 so all in all we have 15 double crochets so always count your stitches to make your straps straight so you always have to have 15 double crochets across your straps so you have to repeat this row of double crochets until you have long enough to go to your back and then an extra length to make a ribbon at the back this is a personal preferences it's up to you how long your straps is make sure it reaches at the back and of course an extra length for you to have a nice ribbon at the back so i have here the last row of our straps and then chain one and turn your work and this time we will decrease the start of the row and the end of the row so decrease means half double crochet together Okay, that's our first decrease and then the normal half double crochet until you reach at the end. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten and eleven okay and then there's a the last two stitches left so you will decrease again so the beginning and the end of every row will be decreased okay until you have a pointed tip left so chain one and turn your work and again decrease in the beginning of the row so decrease means two half double crochets together And continue that pattern until the end and then until you have a pointy end so we're here and we only have two stitches left so we have to decrease and yarn over and pull it through so we have that pointy um, tip now and we can snip off this yarn so now we will single crochet from here all the way around your straps until you reach at the top of your bandana around the other side of your straps until you reach in this side here, okay? Chain one and single crochet every stitch is available to you until you reach until you reach in the other side of your bandana so we're here in the other side of our bandana and we will just finish it off with few stitches and that's it we're done 
if you made one for yourself please don't forget to tag me in my social media i would love to see all your work and that's all for today thank you so much and i hope to see you again sometime next week and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and goodbye